Ecology is the study of the interactions among organisms and with their environment. And a population is a group of individuals of the same species that live in the same area. Population ecology looks at the structure and dynamics of populations with respect to the environment. A community includes all of the populations of species that live and interact within an area. And community ecology studies those interactions. Ecosystems include communities and all of the abiotic or non-living parts of the environment. Ecosystem ecology studies the flow of energy and nutrients between the living and non-living parts. Each organism has a relationship with its habitat or the environment in which it lives. Depending on the species, a habitat may be one square meter of soil or many miles of land. Mobile organisms are able to choose where they live, and this is a process called habitat selection. An organism's role in its community is its niche. It includes resource use and interaction with other organisms. Species that have a narrow niche are called specialists. Population density describes the number of individuals per unit area. Population distribution describes the spatial arrangement of organisms within an area. So random distribution shows no particular pattern as opposed to uniform distribution where individuals are spaced evenly. The influence of some factors depends on population density. The density of a population can enhance or diminish the effect of some limiting factors. Density dependent factors rise and fall with population density, like predation or disease. Density independent factors are unaffected by population density. So examples would be temperature extremes or catastrophic natural disasters. Population size or the number of organisms in an area at a given time will grow when resources are abundant and natural enemies or predators are few. Declines in population size are typically due to resource loss, natural disaster, or impacts from other species. Age structure describes the number of individuals of different ages within a population. This can help to predict whether a population will grow or shrink in the near future. Demographers are scientists who study population change and they track four key population factors. Natality, which is the birth rate within the population. Mortality, which is the death rate within the population. Immigration, which accounts for the arrival of individuals from outside the population, and emigration, which is the departure of individuals from the population. A population's rate of natural increase is simply determined by subtracting the death rate from the birth rate. When a population increases by a fixed percentage each year, it is undergoing exponential growth. And exponential growth only occurs in nature when a population is small, competition is minimal, and environmental conditions are ideal. Eventually, every population is constrained by physical, chemical, and biological limiting factors in the environment. These factors determine carrying capacity. Carrying capacity is the maximum population size of a species that an environment can sustain. Population growth slows as it reaches carrying capacity.